it was as if somebody flipped a switch and everybody knew we have to get aircraft launched. We have to get these jets in the air. On 9-11, I was a senior airman in the DC National Guard. I was in the 121st Fighter Squadron. And my job at the time was uh, aircrew flight equipment technician. That day, I was inspecting night, night vision goggles. We were all in our main room when someone came down the hall, came, ran through the door and was like, you guys won't believe it, somebody just flew into the World Trade Center. A few minutes later, somebody says, uh, somebody just flew into the other one. And it was as if everybody just knew in that moment, we were like, that was on purpose. So we all ran down the hall and we went into the uh, the break room area, which is where we had a big television in there, and we had the news on. We saw the towers fall, and then we heard about the Pentagon. It was as if somebody flipped a switch, and everybody knew we have to get aircraft launched. We have to get these jets in the air. Really, the only pilots that were available at that time came down and they launched. So then for six months, we rotated the 12-hour the shifts, 24 hours a day, aircraft in the air, flying circles around DC. Yeah, it was, it was definitely, um, it was kind of eye-opening because it was also strange coming to the base, driving through the gate and being like you're at war. They had the dogs at the gates. They had, you know, everything was secure. And you would go home and people would just be living their normal life. And then you come back to the base and it's like you're, you're driving into uh, Iraq or something like that. Just every day, your kid's at school, but I'm going to go to Iraq today. Uh, that's just kind of like how it felt. It was just the atmosphere, you know, around here for quite some time. Uh, so it was a really long day, yeah. really long day. Yeah.